and welcome to my Haas seminar series of vlogs. And there it is, there's my badge. Woo! Everybody loves a badge. <laughs> so I have previously vlogged before all about Haas and what Haas is. I've talked about the first workshop I went to. So this is a video all about the second workshop which was the leadership skills workshop and it was amazing. I learned so much. It was fantastic. And the main aims of this workshop were to provide a definition of both leadership and management, explaining the importance of these in the world of work, and be able to for us to describe five behaviours related to successful leadership, and then identifying the energy mix that we have of our leadership. Now I haven't done a vlog yet about the colour energy mix but basically this was a tool that we used online, it's called Insights and based on the series of questions that you answer it picks what energy you are, what colour energy you are and mine was green, um, my energy was green which means I'm a caring, nurturing type sort of person and then you adjust that into your leadership skill and using these colour energies to recognise what sort of energy other people have and by recognising all these colour energies and what sort of other types of people there are in your team you can recognise what sort of types people are from these colour energies and how they work and how they think so you're enabling to use that to work together with that person rather than against that person and not understanding where they're coming from so it gives you more empathy towards your team members and adjust your leadership skills to suit the other person as well because you want them on board if you're running a team you want that person on board you want them to listen to you and you want not only that but you want to get their best self out of them so if you understand them you can then advise and lead them into a way that's going to get their best result from them. So back to our leadership seminar today which was run by an amazing guy, his name's Kevin Faulkner, I'm going to put his Twitter page below, I'm going to put the um, links and everything below so just check below for all the details and he's just amazing, he's so good, he's great at speaking, he's motivating, he's inspiring, he is a great leader himself because you look up to him and you think actually yeah how do I be my best self, how do I do this? And the way he explains things, he doesn't just say, oh, this, this, this. He makes you think logically and he makes you think about the bigger picture, like not just one point, but actually everything around that one point. And he really makes you expand your mind. And it's just amazing. He, Kevin, if you're watching this, you're great. I absolutely love you. You're fantastic. Also, Kev recommended a great book, Leadership Plain and Simple book. I haven't read it yet. It's only just came in the post. So I'm going to read this and let you all know what it's like. So I'm just going to add a couple of the definitions that we come up with, the difference between a leader and management, and I'm going to show you those now. So the way I kind of see this is management is more task orientated, is more precise, it's more facts, figures, that sort of thing, and you're getting the job done. And with leadership, it's more inspiring, there's a lot more emotion into it, and it's all about um, achieving goals. And we also spoke about what makes a good or a bad leader, and I think everyone in the room sort of agreed that actually we shouldn't be using the terms bad leader because it's not a very nice term to use. So we were just saying what sort of things do we look up to as a leader and what we think would make the perfect leader, even though there's no such thing as perfect, but what would we look up to as a leader? And then during the session, something really bizarre happened. I mean, Kev was talking all this motivational speech and stuff, and then I looked up at the wall and the clock was just going round and round, like spinning, like really, really fast. Like the, the time was just fast forwarding. I was like, um, something wrong with the clock? <laughs> and everyone just stared at this clock and they were all like, oh. <laughs> so now I fully believe not only does Kev inspire people and motivate people he moves time let's hashtag this <laughs> and a couple of comments that i got from the previous session the two weeks before that this seminar we had another seminar about personal development and cpd and during that session um i took away from that and i asked 
on social media what people thought about leadership and things like that and I had a couple of comments and there's a couple of people one um, girl Hannah she's fantastic I'm gonna put her details below give her a follow she was talking about being a leader and a leader should not just give out negatives but actually they should give out compliments and recognize when somebody's actually done a really good job constructive criticism but also acknowledge when people do well she also thinks that leaders should be inspiring which i think leaders should be inspiring another one is from one of my other friends who said you have to understand all of the roles so you've got to understand all the way from the bottom all the way up to the top so you can understand that person's role to enable them to be their best self so you can encourage them and motivate them and understand where that person's coming from if they're coming to you with a problem or a situation and how to deal with it better and then we started talking about um future engagement and delivery which is future what are your goals and taking a step back and seeing the bigger picture of that goal staying away from that operator mode you know that safe mode that we all get into and step outside of it know the type of leader that you actually want to be and see other people's inspirations aspirations keep the spirit alive to help other people and then engage so creating opportunities to be engaging doesn't mean you have to engage directly but create that opportunity so that you can engage with people build up big relationships go big have no fear just do it and asking always asking for feedback on the light and the shade not just good feedback but everything make sure you get that feedback so then you can imply that feedback and become your best self and harnessing the positive energies and help others to find the good in you and then delivering so delivering through others and linking this to the future that you want and then de developing other people to be leaders and then creating a bigger dialogue and opportunities to make a bigger request so all in all this session was just this was just like a rough low down of what the session entailed but it was just fantastic and it really made me think about what sort of leader that I want to become what qualities do I have already that I can build on and improve on to become a really good leader when I qualify as a nurse because I'm gonna have to be a leader um, it's one of the the qualities that you have to have as a nurse is good leadership skills because you're gonna be running a team I mean I'm working in a general practice at the minute on my placement and you have to work independently you have to work independently you have to run that clinic yourself and your patients and you have to you have to manage people around you as well so the reception the doctors you have to have those leadership skills to enable you to do that and you have to be a good leader for your patients them these patients that are coming in to see you are looking up to you for their health advice to be their best selves so you need to be that leader for your patients as well so all in all, it was just a fantastic session. I absolutely love these HARS seminars. They're fantastic. They really make you think. They're making me become my best self. And they're making me aim high, like aim a lot higher. And I'm thinking, actually, what else can I do? What else can I do now? I'm just, I'm, my brain is constantly going at the minute, trying to think what I can do in my life to be my best self. So I hope you've given you some sort of insight. Pars is amazing. If you're a current Birmingham City University student, please aim high, aim for 68% in everything. It doesn't matter if you don't quite get 68%, as long as the majority of your grades over the year is 68%, you are into the hard scheme. So aim for that, it's amazing. You're going to want to be part of it. It's fantastic, you won't regret it. And I'm gonna leave you with this last quote that I got from Kevin Faulkner on the day. It's one of my favorites. He said quite a few things that really inspired me and made me think, but this is one of the ones that he said. Without reflection, there is no action. And without no action, there is no reflection. Mm -hmm.